Hello and welcome everyone. Today is Friday, so we're doing the Friday Share. These are our three cards that we will be making on today. So we have our beginner, intermediate, and advanced card. So let's go ahead and start with our beginner card. And this card is gorgeous. So it has Oh, I wanted to show you guys the die set. Hold on. This is the die set that we will be using um, for these projects. This is the Opulent Border die set. And it has the shadow layer die here. And then it has the cut in die. It, cut, it doesn't have a cutting edge here on the tops. But these part, this part does have a cutting edge. So you can um, cut it to stay into the card or you can completely cut it out by just taking a pair of scissors and cutting this line. And then you can also have a shadow layer available. And you'll see that in the, in the um, projects that we're making today. So there's three of them and we're gonna use every single one of them. So we'll start with this one. This is the one for the first project. This is the one for the second project. And this is the one for the third projects. And so the card that she made, she used a card base that I didn't have. So I pulled this from something that I had. Actually, I wanna show you guys what it is, even though it's very, very old. Some of you might still have it. This is Anna Griffin Foil Layers. And it has some really, I never really used it. Um, it has five by seven and it has a six by six foil card layers which are really really pretty and they come in different colors so you see this one's pink and blue and green and then you also have the five by seven also that come in like pink and blue <laughs> and green and so that's where i got that layer from so if you're looking for it that's where you'll find it and if you guys haven't used those layers like I have it then pull them out I think it's like in her color palette now so I mean of course it was in there before but I think it's even more popular now and then the ribbon that we used on the side I actually got from my crafters companion I got this blue one because she used a green ribbon and I don't have any, I didn't have any. And so I got the Crafter's Companion um, stuff out and I used this blue ribbon and it matched pretty great. And then this is um, Anna Griffin cardstock with the blue. And then this is a Crafter's Companion gold cardstock that I used in here. And then we made a, I guess I can get closer here. So this is what it looks like. So that's the shadow layer in the background. Then there's this on the top. I added, I added my own um, idea was to put these vellum flowers in the background. And then, you know, she did this part. Um, and then this ribbon here is attached to the back on mine. Cause this is a card layer. And so I glued it on top of a, a card base. I'm trying something out. So I decided to try it on a Crafter's Companion card base since I have so many, because even though I know that they're white and Anna Griffin does all of her stuff in this really nice ivory color, I was like, is that gonna clash? Cause a lot of times it does, but I was thinking since it's the base and I'm just putting this over the top of it, maybe it wouldn't. So this is an experiment here. Um, there is a bow right here, so she tied a bow. So what I'm going to do right now is try and tie a bow with you guys here on the channel. So I'm gonna pull out my, oh gosh, what's it, Ultimate from Crafter's Companion. This is my piece of bow. These are my bow making instructions because I have no idea how to do it. 
and I'm going to get this so where you guys can see and I can do it at the same so this is the ultimate and it has these pegs and I'm gonna put it has lots of different peg holes I'm gonna try these two peg holes it may or may not work I may need to use these two but I think I want my bow this size based on what this is gonna be on the card so maybe in between here okay take it cross the left piece over the top of the right piece take the top piece underneath um, and to the left okay now I don't even know if my thing is long enough take the bottom piece underneath the ribbon Oh, I might not have any tails to do this. Bring it back over and tie a knot. No. Bring it back over and tie a knot. Now my tails are gonna be really short. All right, there we go. Now we have a bigger bow, very short tails. I think I can work with it. Let's see. All right, let's take away the ultimate. Um, this is what the ultimate looks like. Um, this is what it looks like. Oh, <laughs> in its entirety. I guess maybe I should have did that with the camera like that in the first place. This is the ultimate. And these are the holes that I was talking about. Um, whoa. So here, I used these two to get the bigger bow here. All right, back, back to normal view. And I'll put, put the card back in the frame. Uh-oh, our sentiment fell off. You know I don't put my sentiments on all the way because I don't know what I actually want the card to say. So, then they don't, they're not on there a lot of the times. And I'm just gonna cut my tails here if I can. Oh, these don't look so good. All right, and last I'm gonna take this lighter and seal the ends. And now we have our bow. I'm going to um, get these foam dots or whatever we want to call them. Stick them on each side. This is how I stick down my bows. You guys probably seen me do it before. And here we go. Peel off the backings. And ta-da! Now we have our bow on. So after my live video, I decided I wanted to um, add some value to these cards other than just what Anna Griffin made. And I wanted to, um, but before I do that, um, I'm gonna I'll show you that. I wanna talk about gluing things down to glitter cardstock. So, a lot of people use a glue gun because it makes it uh, stay. Um, I hate plugging in my glue gun. <laughs> I'm just lazy that way. And so something that I use is this Call Owl glue from Crafters Companion. I stuck down all the stuff, I mean not all of it, but a lot of the stuff in our projects today with this glue. It is clear, completely clear. So where, you know, things like the 
art glitter glue they're they're oh, like um white oh sorry you're not even looking um things like the art glitter glue are white and you can see that they're white this one is really clear it's actually clear it's the color of the bottle so there's uh when you look at it from the bottom and from the top that's it's just clear it's this clear color and so one thing um i love this glue it allows you to move stuff around and i don't get paid or anything like that but i'm just telling you guys i use this glue to glue down glitter um things on glitter cardstock it allows you to move stuff around at the same time it doesn't just completely adhere just like that um but one thing i would say is the downfall of this glue is it stinks it stinks so super bad so if you're planning on giving something to someone like that day i would not because you have to let whatever you put it on air out <laughs> For a little while so that the smell goes away it does go away but in, if you're sensitive to smells don't buy it or um, if you make your cards in the moment don't buy it all right but anyways so here's where I decided to add value to my cards in a different way something that you know um, is a little bit more unique to me and I decided to do the inside of the card so a lot of times I cut out things and I have these frames and I keep them and so I decided to use it on the inside of the card and these are the flowers that are is this flower right here and so I put them on the inside of the card and so if I wanted to later on if, um, put a sentiment or something on the top I could always just like pop it up there or you know somewhere around here and uh, have that available also, or I could just leave it just like that. So this is on Crafters Companion white card bases from the, um, what are the sub boxes? I had so many sub boxes. So I decided to try to do that. So I do have a little bit of color difference going on. I have the cream here on the front. I mean, it's just a tiny amount. You can't really see it, I don't think. And then the white on the inside. And then, so you can see it doesn't say handmade by um, on it. So I'd have to add a stamp or something to it. All right, I think I've talked enough about card number one on to card number two. All right, this is card number two intermediate card using the dies cut in. So when you cut this um, out, it stays part attached to this part. And then as you can see, this was embossed. I used a different embossing folder. I didn't have the one that she used. And then these are from the, um, it's a decoupage card kit. And so that's where these came from. I can't remember exactly what it was called, but the decoupage card kit. And then um, I used those same vellum leaves on this one that I used on the other ones, but in a in on the other one, but in a different color. So I used the, the darker green on this one, where I had to use the lighter green vellum one on here. So you can see the lighter green vellum here and here, and then I used the darker vellum here, and that was not something that she did, but. Um, I didn't have the exact flowers that she had. Even though she used this, I used up my whole kit. I loved that kit. I made everything in it, but I still had some flowers left over, so I had to collage them up myself. And then to add value to this card, I um, then did the inside. So uh, when we cut out the shadow layer, the shadow layer, they fell on the ground, but <laughs> oh, they really fell on the ground. Um, it cuts out only the size. So this is a cutting edge. So when you can cut this out, you only get the size, but I needed this size. So I ended up 
adding it on here and then putting a strip of paper to cover it up. Um, you can do it with the dye, but at the time I didn't know that that was gonna happen or I wasn't really thinking. I was just following the directions on finishing school. And because of that, I ended up with a partial background and I wanted a full background. And so that's why you have I have this green strip on here. That's, she didn't do that. And then I added in my own in, inside to this. So I decided to use this green paper here. And that came from this set here. Uh, let's see, what's it called? Whoop, whoop. Okay, card cardstock for die cutting. It doesn't really have a name. But I really like the size. It's nine and five, six by five and 11 sixteenths. Or, uh, yeah, and there's 72 pattern cardstock sheets in here. Oh, you guys can't see, because I'm trying to read it. Okay, here we go. That's for you guys to look at. And these are great for um, uh, slimline cards. And I don't even know if she still sells these, but if she does, these are great. They're double-sided, so this would be the pattern on the front. There's also a pattern on the back. And like, like I said, or like it says, there's 72 different patterns. Great for slimline. Especially since the uh, last um, slimline, um, the metallic ones that she's, she was selling were mismarked and were, were not actually uh, slimline size so that's good so I just used uh, some of the flowers that we used on the front and a dye I can't remember what it where it's from and then just a little I love our beautiful friendship that matches the love and hugs to you and that is card number two Okay, our last card, our, which is our um, uh, what's it? advanced card. So it's a gatefold card, as you can tell, because it has a belly band on it. And, oh, I wanted to tell you, I printed these uh, flowers off of my Cricut. And so um, if you don't have flowers from Anna Griffin, these are Anna Griffin flowers. I did print them off of my Cricut. If you have Cricut access, you can get those flowers for um, your access membership. But if you don't, you can always still go get them. You'll just pay whatever price they cost. And it might be worth it if you're wanting some flowers that you can have forever and ever to print forever, as many as you want. You can make them as big as you want, as small as you want. I think I shrunk these down to make them smaller. And um, yeah, they're, they're, it's a good way to have flowers when you may not have any flowers. So this is the belly band. These are the flowers. Um, I'm using this from Gentleman Study. And this is what the back, I just used the same cardstock for the front and so then we use the die and just added it to on here and in the layers here and one on each side in our gatefold and then this then we did the inside Whoop, now she did the inside so this is what we did um made a layer here added a card sentiment I put my card sentiment in only partial way, so it flips up. It's not all the way glued down. And just because I didn't want it to be bumpy or anything, even though I used a glue, a glue, what are these things called? <laughs> a tape runner. I never, I hardly ever use tape runners. Well, I will say I never <laughs> use tape runners because they hate me. They always break. But I used it today. And this has a butterfly and a flower and then this cake now this cake I got from uh, Tuesday morning and I thought it was perfect and this is it right here this is the dye I got it from Tuesday morning so it's not Anna Griffin and I did that thing where you uh, 
Oh, I don't even remember what it's called, but you inlay things back in. So I cut it out twice, once out of ivory and then once out of a glitter cardstock. And I inlaid it, I guess it's called inlay. I inlaid it back in and I think it's so pretty. Can you can, I don't know, you can see it shimmering and shining, but it shimmers and shines because it's glitter. And she used a cake that was foil and so I don't think I had it. I may have it. I have two of those um, birthday boxes, but I never go in them. I never open them for some reason. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> I decided to try that. So that was tedious, but fun at the same time. I was like, what am I doing and why? This is taking me forever. But I did get it done and I am pleasantly surprised and happy with the results and then the way I stuck it down was you cut it out with this stuff it's called die cut in bond and so it's a sticky adhesive I'm sure you guys all have it um, where you die cut your stuff and then one side will be sticky already and you could just make it into a sticker so that's what I use to this this one's from Couture Creations and yeah, so that is what I did or what, uh, yeah, what I did in finishing school and hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos and if you um, have not tried anything from finishing school or if you're not part of finishing school, I highly, highly recommend joining. You will learn so much and it's a, um, doesn't cost that much. Uh, it's only $9.99 a month, and, but it's really, yeah, it's really good. And here's our projects. So have a wonderful day and thanks for watching. Bye.